Here is a very cute and interesting tumor. It is a tumor of the tendon sheath, the same area where we see ganglion cysts occur whenever there is some mechanical uh, cause for weakening of the wall of the synovial tendon sheath and accumulation of fluid. Well, in this case, it's the same tendon sheath, but it's not accumulating fluid, it's accumulating cells. Uh, and this is a very curious and interesting tumor because it shows some uh, little structure in here that pathologists love to see. They are called giant cells. And you could see even at this power stippled here, 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 here. There are certain structures that look quite a bit bigger than the rest of the cells around them. And if you were to see these cells in uh, granulomas, let's say, you would call them regular old multinucleated uh, giant cell uh, histiocytes. And here they are. This one might have 30, 40, 50 nuclei. Here's a bunch in here. Here's a bunch in here. So the tumor not only grows as uh, individual cells, but it forms these uh, coalesced uh, cells, have the classical appearance of multinucleated uh, histiocytes. This is a giant cell tumor of tendon sheath. You know the tendon is lined by synovial cells uh, and there's a couple different kinds of synovial cells. They're not epithelial. They're not truly uh, mesenchyme either. One of the main types of cell in a synovium is a cell related or derived directly from the macrophage or histiocyte line which have the ability to form giant cells. And that's exactly what we're seeing here. We're seeing a tumor. We're seeing a proliferation of synovial cells, some of which are forming these nice, beautiful, little multinated, multinucleated giant cells as well, just like we see with granulomas, TB, foreign body, fungi, uh, yada, yada, yada. Let's go to another random area here on high power. Here's a giant cell. Here's some of the cells that are not forming giant cells. Notice this little slightly refractile pinkish stuff between the cells is a pure uh, collagen as well. So fibroblasts are part of the tumor, uh, making collagen. The synovial cells out here have proliferated in a neoplastic fashion as well as the giant cells. These tumors are usually benign. A very small percentage of them turn malignant. And I think you could believe that in this case, there is not a significant amount of bizarre nuclear features in this to suggest that uh, it might be a malignant from a nuclear point of view. And also, if you notice back up here again, it has nice, well-defined margins as well. I'm going to take a little snapshot right at the edge here just to show you how there is a very, very nice interface between the tumor and a surrounding sort of fibrous capsule. And I'm not going to show you the part where the uh, tissue is folded over. But you can see the edge of the tumor is uh, very nice and well defined and separated by this uh, fibrous capsule. Thank you very much.